What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Today I just wanted to explain a little about using the Godot 3.1 beta in the upcoming tutorials. If you didn't already know, Godot is getting closer to the final release of its 3.1 version. Recently, they released a second version of the Godot 3.1 beta. Through reading all your comments, it seems that at least a few of you out there have already been using the alpha and beta versions of 3.1. Up until now, I've been using Godot version 3.0.6 for all the tutorials. You can see that here. Right, 3.0.6 is the most current, stable version of Godot. When I first started doing Godot tutorials, Godot version 3.1 was not even in the alpha phase, so sticking with 3.0.6 made the most sense. Now that version 3.1 is in the beta phase, the developers are not adding in any more features and are focused on fixing only release critical bugs. I've never been much of an early adopter of anything and don't really enjoy the idea of putting time into learning how a game engine's features work and then possibly having those features be removed or delayed due to some kind of development issues. Now sure, this is possible with any program in any phase, but the chances of this happening in an alpha or even pre-alpha phase are much higher. I also didn't want to use these pre-alpha and alpha versions in the tutorials because I think that you all deserve a stable platform to be able to learn on. Now that 3.1 is in the beta phase though, everything you see in there should just be in the process of being polished and there should be no big changes that will force you to relearn how something works. That being said, I've decided to use the current beta version, 3.1 beta 2, in the upcoming tutorials. I will also be utilizing newer versions of the betas as they are released. Now a lot of what you see in the upcoming videos will still work with version 3.0.6. If there's a specific feature that I introduce that is exclusive to version 3.1, I'll be sure to say so. The important thing to note here is that a version 3.1 project is not compatible with version 3.0.6 or earlier. If you try to open a project that you've worked on in 3.1 in version 3.0.6, it's not going to work. Though projects created in a 3.0.6 version will be able to be worked on in version 3.1 of Godot. The catch here is that once you open your your project that you created in 3.0.6, once you open that project in version 3.1, changes are going to be made to your project that will cause it to no longer work with your previous version you made it on. So if you have a 3.0.6 version, you take that project, you can open it in version 3.1, but once you do that, you're no longer going to be able to work on it in 3.0.6. This being the case, if you decide that you would like to continue work on a 3.0.6 project in version 3.1, please back up your entire project folder to a separate location before you open that project in 3.1. Now the migration of a project from 3.0.6 to 3.1 should be seamless and work properly, but in the event that something goes wrong, you're going to always want to have a backup that you can revert to. Alright, now that was a mouthful and it might have been a little bit confusing, so let's just do a quick test. Over here you can see I'm running version 3.0.6. I'm just going to open a brand new project. Okay, new game project, that sounds fine. Um, let's see. Let's not put it in there, let's put it where I usually put it. So we can open Godot projects. And then let's put it in there. So, okay. We're going to create this new game project. Create folder, create and edit. Now once the project is open, we can do anything we like. Uh, we don't have to do anything here. So we're just going to close the project. Okay, so here's my shortcut to 3.0.6. If we open this back up, obviously it works. right? We can just open our new game project. Everything works fine. Project opens, no errors. So if we close out of that, now we're going to use the most current version at the time of uh, this video recording, 3.1 beta 2. We'll open that up. We see our new game project. We'll be able to open up. 
Okay, and you can see here the following project settings file was generated by an older engine version and needs to be converted. Do you want to convert it? Warning, you will not be able to open the project with previous versions of the game engine anymore. So if we say OK, all right, our project opens fine. We can do everything that we want to do. We'll close it out. OK, and let's just say we go back to 3.0.6. We can see the project in here if we try and open it. It doesn't do anything. If we look back in here, we can see the errors. Error file can't open because it's already been opened in 3.1 and 3.0 doesn't know how to read a 3.1 file, but 3.1 can read a 3.0 file. So in any case, you've seen it there. Once you open your project in 3.1, you're not going to be able to open in 3.6. So like I said before, if you're thinking about working um, in this beta or even when it goes to the final version of 3.1 it's still going to be the case once it opens in 3.1 you can't use it in a previous version so make sure you have anything that you need backed up so if for some reason the migration doesn't go correctly you can revert to something also a note for all my patreon patrons the new tutorial project folder downloads will be using the 3.1 version so please be sure to go and get yourself the 3.1 version so that you can view and edit those projects. And that's about it. Just a quick little note to let you know about the tutorials moving to using version 3.1. Thank you to everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Take it easy.